Inside this small plane at the airport of Longyearbyen, one of the most northern cities in the world, is an instrument that is helping to define a future space mission to better understand our planet. In the extremely harsh conditions of the Arctic, engineers and scientists are testing a microwave radiometer, an instrument that is able to monitor sea ice and its evolution. The radiometer just senses, uh, it reads basically the sea ice, so at certain frequencies. And, and from that, from the actually breaking down into several you know, different frequencies, you can actually study the sea ice signatures. And from that, then you can infer what kind of sea ice you have. And also from that, you can infer how old the sea ice is, for instance. The information on sea ice characteristics from this airborne campaign is being used to support the Copernicus Imaging Microwave Radiometer, one of the six high-priority candidate satellite missions being studied for the European Union's Copernicus system. This is a difficult activity, but necessary to be sure that if the mission is selected to go into space, scientists will be able to retrieve the high-quality data they are looking for. This instrument that we're flying has been around for many years already and uh, it had to be completely renovated in order to, to fly again. And we're testing it now for the first time because we want to obtain the sort of data that the satellite will see later on and, uh, and really make, uh, infer, uh, answer some scientific questions we have in the meantime. So with this data that we're going to collect here. This is how many operational Earth observation missions are created, a policy need that leads to the development of a tool able to give the best scientific measurements. The results on concentration and distribution of Arctic sea ice will contribute to the larger question of climate change and how the Arctic environment is affected by this global phenomenon. The sea ice is, is strongly changing. You can see that parts of Svalbard which were earlier ice covered in winter, like the fjords just out here, they are not ice covered anymore. And that, that in the Arctic Ocean, of course, in the summer, there's much less ice. And that is the very important thing to follow by the present mission, this, this simmer, which we fly for right now and also for the, for the future. This Arctic airborne campaign to help prepare the Copernicus Imaging Microwave Radiometer is part of this quest to obtain more accurate data, providing hard facts on the evolution of ice coverage, one of the key elements to understanding climate change and its impact on Earth all part of the integrated European policy for the Arctic.